one the other way. We collide together 600 million of these every second. In every collision, we create the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. We take photographs of those 600 million collisions per second, and we find out this guy from 1965 was right. We collide 600 million particles together every single second. And with every one of those collisions, we recreate the conditions that existed less than a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. Each flash is photographed, frame by frame, moment by moment, as if the universe itself were revealing its birth certificate. And once again, a man from 1965 is proven right. But this time, something's different. Brian Cox just delivered one of the most unsettling messages of his career. After CERN's latest particle discovery, he's warning that humanity might be standing at a turning point, one that could redefine everything we think we know about reality. And this isn't one of those scientific headlines you'll scroll past and forget tomorrow. Deep beneath the Swiss-French border, inside the Large Hadron Collider, scientists have discovered something that should not exist. A subtle but earth-shattering flaw in the universe itself. A 5% asymmetry in how particles behave. 5%. It sounds insignificant. Until you realize that this tiny imbalance is the reason you exist at all. Cox one of the world's most respected physicists, says this discovery reveals a crack in the foundation of reality itself, a hint that the forces shaping the universe aren't as balanced or as stable as we believed. What's at stake here is the difference between matter and antimatter, the original cosmic war that decided whether our universe would be filled with galaxies, stars, and life, or remain an eternal void of radiation and nothingness. For over 80 years, scientists have hunted for this exact phenomenon, combing through over 80,000 high-energy particle collisions in search of a pattern that could explain how something, anything, survived the Big Bang's annihilation. Now, after decades of silence, they've found it. And Brian Cox believes we might be staring at the first evidence of entirely new physics, forces and particles we've never detected, never theorized, and barely understand. But here's the question. Why would one of the world's most famous scientists call a 5% imbalance an urgent warning? Why urgency? Now? Because, as Cox puts it, this discovery isn't just about the past. It's about what comes next. And if humanity hesitates, we could lose our only chance to uncover the universe's deepest secrets. For the first time in human history, researchers have measured something called CP violation in baryons the particles that make up the protons and neutrons inside every atom in existence. The LHCB experiment team spent years chasing this invisible ghost through more than 80,000 collisions. They weren't looking for explosions or chaos. They were looking for a whisper, a microscopic difference between how matter and antimatter particles decay. And they found it. A 5% asymmetry just large enough to meet the gold standard threshold physicists require to declare a true discovery. Without this crack in the symmetry of the cosmos, there would be no stars, no galaxies, no humans. Think about that. The Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter, perfectly balanced. But when they meet, they annihilate each other completely, leaving nothing behind but energy. If symmetry had held, the universe should be empty. Yet something, something subtle, tipped the scales. Imagine flipping a coin a hundred times. You'd expect a fair split, heads, tails, 50-50. Now imagine that, somehow, tails lands just 5% more often. Barely noticeable, right? Except that tiny bias just decided whether the universe would exist or not. That's exactly what happened in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Matter won by the slimmest margin imaginable, 5%. That little nudge allowed it to survive the cosmic massacre and build everything we see today. The discovery is revolutionary because it's the first time scientists have observed this asymmetry in the heaviest known particles. Before this, it had only been seen in lighter ones called mesons. But baryons, the building blocks of everything, had always played by the rules. Until now. And that's why Cox believes this is only the beginning. If these building blocks are misbehaving, there may be hidden forces at work in the universe right now. Forces beyond the standard model, 
beyond current science. Brian Cox isn't celebrating this discovery. He's sounding the alarm. Because this imbalance might not just be a clue, it might be a countdown. His message is clear. If humanity doesn't act fast, we could miss our once-in-a-lifetime chance to unlock the next layer of reality itself. He's urging world leaders to invest in the next great scientific tool, the Future Circular Collider, a mind-bending 91-kilometer ring that would make today's Large Hadron Collider look small. This next-generation machine could reach energies ten times higher than anything we've ever built. But Cox's urgency isn't only about science. It's about power. Because while the world debates funding and politics, China is already building its own colossal collider, the CPC. And if they succeed first, they might be the ones to unravel the mysteries of the universe before anyone else. Cox knows exactly what that means. Whoever discovers the hidden physics behind this matter-antimatter imbalance won't just win Nobel Prizes. They'll gain control over technologies that don't even exist yet. Remember, the last time physicists unlocked the secrets of particles, the world got the internet, PET scans, and nuclear energy. The stakes have never been higher. We're talking about understanding why anything exists at all. The standard model of physics, our best explanation for how the universe works, has just taken a direct hit. This discovery implies that the rules we thought were absolute might be breaking. There are new particles out there, new forces, and maybe even new dimensions of reality waiting to be revealed. Cox compares this moment to the space race of the 1960s. Whoever reaches the next great frontier first won't just make history, they'll define the future. Only this time, the finish line isn't the moon. It's the laws of nature themselves. This breakthrough at CERN is like finding a treasure map. Only half of it is missing. We know there's something extraordinary out there, but we'll need the right tools and the courage to uncover it. If you want to stay ahead of what's coming, subscribe now, because the discoveries unfolding beneath our feet are rewriting the story of existence in real time. But Cox's warning doesn't end there. There's a darker side to what CERN has found, one that could shake our understanding of the universe to its core. And what he's revealed about the potential dangers of this research will leave you questioning everything you thought was safe. What if this asymmetry, the tiny 5% difference that saved existence, isn't random at all? What if it's the first visible fingerprint of dark matter? Remember, dark matter makes up roughly 85% of all matter in the universe, yet we've never seen it directly. CERN's new finding might mean it's been whispering to us this entire time, subtly nudging regular matter, influencing how particles decay and survive. This 5% imbalance could be dark matter's calling card, carved into the universe's code billions of years ago. If that's true, we're no longer just studying invisible particles. We're staring into the operating system of reality. But it gets even more unsettling. What if this imbalance is connected to the Higgs field, the invisible energy field that gives every particle its mass? When the Higgs boson was discovered at CERN in 2012, the math hinted at something terrifying. Our universe might not be stable forever. Physicists call it metastability a polite way of saying reality could one day collapse. That doesn't mean tomorrow or next century, but it does mean the universe is balanced on a knife's edge. Imagine somewhere out there, a tiny quantum bubble forms where the laws of physics are different. It expands at light speed, rewriting everything in its path. Every atom, every star, every memory, gone in an instant. Cox isn't predicting apocalypse. He's reminding us that the universe may be temporary, and that this new asymmetry might be the first clue to why. CERN's latest discoveries don't stop there. They're multiplying, each one stranger than the last. In late 2024, the ATLAS and CMS experiments witnessed something straight out of science fiction. Quantum entanglement between pairs of top quarks, the heaviest fundamental particles known. These particles are as massive as entire atoms, yet somehow they remained linked across distance, reacting to each other instantly. Einstein once called it spooky action at a distance. Now, it's been filmed in the most extreme conditions ever created. The message is clear. Quantum mechanics holds even in the most violent environments imaginable. But that also means the deeper we dig, the weirder reality becomes. And then came another shock. 
CERN's NA62 experiment confirmed an ultra-rare particle decay, a process so improbable it happens once in every 10 billion tries. They watched a charged kaon decay into a pion and neutrino pair, something the standard model predicted should almost never happen. Except, it happened 50% more often than expected. In particle physics, that's not noise, that's a revolution. So what's going on? Are these flukes or clues? Cox thinks of them as breadcrumbs, each one leading us out of the darkness toward new physics. The baryon asymmetry. Quantum entanglement at impossible energies. Ultra-rare decays breaking the rules. Each discovery is a crack in the mirror of our understanding. For the first time in decades, the universe is whispering secrets faster than we can decode them. Picture a thousand-piece puzzle we've been building for half a century. Suddenly, new pieces appear that don't fit the image on the box. That's what's happening at CERN. And if we don't follow those pieces, we may lose the greatest opportunity humanity's ever had. But Cox's warning isn't just scientific. It's human. He's watched the internet twist discoveries into nightmare headlines. CERN opens black hole. Scientists playing God. Cox's response is blunt. If the LHC could destroy Earth, cosmic rays would have done it billions of years ago. Every second, nature performs collisions far more violent than anything we can build. And yet, here we are. Physicists have families, homes, lives. If there were real danger, they'd be the first to shut it all down. Nature, Cox reminds us, is far tougher and far more beautiful than our fears. This 5% difference is more than a curiosity. It's a loose thread in the cosmic tapestry. If we pull it carefully, patiently, it could unravel mysteries humanity has chased since the dawn of thought. But if we ignore it, if politics, funding, or apathy cut the thread, it could vanish again, maybe for centuries. The window is small. The Large Hadron Collider will only run into the late 2030s. After that, without a successor, particle physics could fall into silence. That's why Cox calls for the future circular collider, a 91-kilometer machine capable of energies 10 times greater than today's. It would be the most ambitious scientific project in human history, a new moonshot for physics. But he knows hesitation kills progress, and China's CPC collider is already on the drawing board. If they move faster, they could seize the next great leap in understanding, and with it, control over technologies we can't yet imagine. This isn't just a race for prestige, it's a race for the future of human knowledge itself. Cox's message to humanity is simple, but urgent. We now have the evidence that reality is imperfect, that imperfection created everything we love and everything we are, and if we don't study it, the universe will keep its secrets forever. Without that 5% imbalance, you wouldn't exist. Your family, your friends, every story ever told would vanish into symmetry. Every technological revolution began with a small, strange discovery just like this one. Relativity gave us GPS. Quantum mechanics gave us computers and smartphones. This asymmetry could give us the next century of civilization, if we're brave enough to follow it. Cox's warning isn't about fear. It's about responsibility. The universe has cracked open a door, and it may not stay open long. Without this imbalance, the Big Bang would have birthed a perfect mirror, matter and antimatter annihilating into nothing. Instead, something tipped the scales. Something chose existence over emptiness. Now, it's our turn to choose. To keep exploring, keep asking, keep pushing. Brian Cox has given the warning. CERN has revealed the fracture in reality's foundation, and humanity stands at the threshold. Will we look away or step through? If you want to witness every discovery as it happens, subscribe and turn on notifications, because the next announcement from CERN might not just rewrite physics, it might rewrite everything.